Yo, what it is, Tomato Mafia? It's your boy, Leon Lush, a.k.a. Triple D, a.k.a. Lou from Unbox Therapy. <laughs> Listen, the old approach to YouTube is simply no longer working. I can't sit in an office and talk about a Jake Paul Christmas song, make a couple of jokes, censor most of my swears, really hold back, tone it down, make it PG clean for all of YouTube. Without that shit getting demonetized! My fucking new neighbors are really gonna love me. So we're gonna be flipping the game on you today. I figure if what's been working stops working, it's time for a change. So we're gonna try a couple things today that I've seen work on YouTube for other creators and that YouTube seems to think are advertiser friendly. I'm gonna try my best not to swear, but if I do, I'm gonna have to edit it out and post with the oof Roblox death sound that you've probably gotten used to hearing by so now. So let's get ready to knock the socks off of this video with some truly revolutionary YouTube content. But before we get into it, for real, say a quick hello to my cameraman. Turn the camera around, say hello to everyone. I don't have a fucking cameraman. What do I look like, a successful YouTuber? Fuck off. Got my trusty tripod though. That's a budget cameraman right there. Now in my younger days, I used to sport a rag. Backpack full of cans plus a 4-4 four, four mag. All right, let's get this thing going here. I got this handful of nails. We're gonna, just gonna start off light. We're gonna start off light and just shit. You know, let's probably get those out of there. Let's give it a go. All right, express cook. Ah. Uh, Put it on for a minute, fuck it. Nigel's watching too, by the way. I better get away. He wants to see the fireworks. Ooh, getting a little action in there. <laughs> Ooh, sparks. Incredible. Oh, oh. Whoa, it smells like hell. I think the nails may have burnt the plastic of the microwave. How hard are you? How hard are you? What do you think, Nigel? You, did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? What the fuck did you say to me? You didn't, you didn't like it. <laughs> Nigel wasn't, Ni Nigel wasn't impressed. Nigel wasn't impressed. Yeah, uh, well, let's see what happens when this happens, you little piece of shit. You impressed now, you ungrateful prick? Right, maybe you'll think twice about ever questioning my judgment ever again. I don't think this microwave and shit that's not supposed to be microwave thing is really for me. I mean, I know a lot of other YouTubers have done this and with higher powered microwaves and way cooler, way cooler things they put in there. But I figured uh, to, in an effort to be a little original, um, how many other YouTubers have shoulder tackled a microwave after they were done with it? Probably not many. Okay, moving on, moving on. I fuck with savages, you a fuck boy, you can't hang. Hey, what's up guys, this is Matt Haas and this is the parkour challenge. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cartwheel! He must work out. Okay, I may have just sprained my wrist doing that cartwheel, but uh, Leon Lush isn't a quitter. You don't get views by being a quitter! Oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh, shit. Go. Hurry up. Objective breach. I mean, we had a couple rough patches, but I think overall, that was a success. Let's move on. Listen, we've already put in a pretty tough day, but winners never sleep. So I figured I'd break you off with a little bit of the vlog life, since that's very advertiser friendly and popular on YouTube. So what do vloggers generally do? I don't know. Record themselves going to get a cup of coffee, I guess. <laughs>
there. Could I have a large cold brew with cream and sugar, please? Large cold brew, cream and sugar, anything else? That's going to do it. First one, though, please. Thank you. Vlog life, bro. Thank you. Can you say hi to the Tomato Mafia for hey, me? Hey, how you doing, Tomato Mafia? My man, what's up? What's your name? Hey, Bacard. Bacard. My man, all right. Good day. Right. Thanks for saying hi. How you got to get them. One subscriber at a time, pounding that pavement, guerrilla marketing. Tomato Mafia, let's go! Mm. Oh, man, I'd say that this vlog was a complete success. Got the coffee. I even interacted with the outside world, which is generally pretty jarring for me. But Picard, oh, Picard, what an absolute treasure. Nicest guy I've ever dealt with at a Dunkin' Donuts drive through Now, Picard, if you end up watching this somehow, uh, just know that you are the absolute man. But be sure to comment and subscribe to this channel because we're building the we're we're building the tomato mafia one one mother one by one. Anyways, we're gonna continue this advertiser friendly soiree and try our hand at making a little bit of barbecue flavored slime. I don't know if you've seen this on YouTube, but apparently making slime collects hundreds of millions of views. Really, just fascinating stuff. Uh, so we're gonna try our hand at it now. Clearly, I I haven't looked at directions about how to do this, so I'm gonna be working from working from the cuff here, but I, I feel pretty confident in my ability to make some slime. I mean, it is, it's YouTube after all, it can't be that difficult. I was broke, but I'm living in the hills now. I was crazy, but this ice made me chill out. Now the obvious base for slime is always gonna be whole wheat flour. That's just something that every YouTuber probably should know. So you add about a half a cup, you can just eyeball it. It's not really a problem. Then for consistency, you wanna make sure you add a little bit of marinara sauce. I like Rao's homemade four cheese. Mushroom sauce will work too, like you can even use an Alfredo, but I find that like the slime really comes out best when you use four cheese marinara. Vegetable oil, <laughs> I mean if you don't know that every slime needs vegetable oil, you're clearly not making advertiser friendly content on YouTube. Uh, this is just a personal thing, I always like to put in a little bit of jalapeno margarita mix though. To me, it just it kind of gives it like an iridescent color once it sets. Uh, kids love it when it's like that. And obviously, uh, sour cream. Get in there, there you go. Very important, you always gotta add water as one of your last steps because it helps loosen up the agents and helps them interact with each other. 13 eighteenths of a cup is really where I like to sit around. I find it makes it easier for whisking. Now, I'm not supposed to divulge this information, but I love you guys. You support me, and I wanna support you back. Now, a good friend of mine that made 67 million views off his last slime video, Pretty much shared with me a secret ingredient, and that is you always want to take the coffee that you're drinking, and you just take a little bit, put put the straw down, put your finger on the top so you get just a couple drops of that coffee, and just just like that. That's really gonna make the slime perfect consistency, and it's gonna help it uh, set even faster than it normally would. So whisk for four hours. Okay, so that's all set. Just when it looks like a baby threw up a bunch of sour cream and salsa into a bowl, you know you're ready to go. And we're just gonna pop that puppy in the fridge. You're just gonna set that in there. And we're gonna wanna let that cool down for about 16 weeks. And our slime should be ready to go. Let's take a look here. This is gonna be so much fun to play with. Oh God. You know what? Nah, that, that didn't work at all. Okay, Leon, <laughs> it was a valiant effort anyway, but if it's any consolation, the Bible says making slime is the work of the devil, so it's clear to me that your heart is pure. <laughs> Anyways, guys, Leon gave me the outdoor responsibility today because he was just a little tucker from all that parkour. Did you see how high that pose was that he jumped off? That motherfucker is crazy. Last but not least, if y'all could do Gay Baby Angel Dad a favor and head out to your local supermarket, pick up two Brussels sprouts and an eggplant. After you return home, boil those Brussels sprouts on medium heat for no longer than 15 minutes and cut that eggplant in half. Then cover yourself in a bed sheet like you're trying to be a ghost on Halloween. At this point, just undo your belt, slowly slide your pants down and hip thrust that motherfucking like button and leave a comment down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me stretch this to 10 minutes. <laughs> God bless. You. You. Fucking views. Yes.